Um, <laughs> the the other thing though that really is a true physical issue is um, letting your eyes adjust to the table. So I tell people, even if you don't get a chance to warm up, and I, right. I did mention this in a video, get your eyes yeah. on the table. If you look around the room there, this is a good illustration of why you want your eyes on the table. You do not want your eyes adjusted to the rest of the room, the dark parts of the room, and now you're looking at the table. You might not recognize it, but you're not seeing that table as well as you could. All right. right. You you just came out of a dark movie theater and walked outside into the sun. All right. Yeah. It's taking time for your eyes to adjust. So you want your eyes to adjust to the table. Also, while you're moving around the table, while you're playing, you try to keep your eyes on the table. You watch any top player. They're trying to keep their eyes on the table, with the exception of maybe, you know, um, Mike Siegel, who's busy talking to everybody over here about <laughs> how much he sucks. <laughs> and yeah. uh, and Earl, who's complaining because somebody sneezed ten minutes yeah. ago, and, and breaks and his is stick. trying is trying to shark him. <laughs> yeah, you know wh right. why are why are these people allowed to sneeze? Yeah, right. you, you didn't shark him. <laughs> yeah, right. We're professionals here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Um, but yeah, you try to keep your eyes on the table. <laughs> Shit. And Earl knows I love him to death, but yeah, I'm, me too. I'm, I'm not saying anything that's not true. We're just busting <laughs> chops here, you know. Yeah. Don't hit me. I'll in the beat comments, you any Earl. day of the week, Earl. <laughs> Don't Come hit me see in the me. comments, Earl. No, right. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> this APA four is going to show you what's up, Earl. No, <laughs> right. no, right. Let me see. He's probably going to message me, you son of a mother. No, right. yeah. <laughs> Can't too, too fast, this guy. Did you change your shirt? I took oh, my took sweater off. Took your yeah. sweater off. Oh, that rattler. If I, a little softer, I would have gotten it in there. New strategy. Change your shirt for every rack. It'll throw yeah. your opponent off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Talk about eyes adjusting. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, th those are Freddy Krueger colors. That red and green right there. <laughs> yeah. Put on something with flashing lights. That'll distract yeah. them. Oh, yeah. LA, LA gear. Remember that yeah. shit? <laughs> yeah. Those sneakers that light up when you, when oh, you walk yeah. around. Anything to distract your opponent. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, you're you're shooting much faster than your normal pace, and I think you're picking up some of his, you know, some of his tendencies. I tell people all the time, you need to avoid, you know, watching particularly um, weaker players that have bad habits, even weaker players that that have okay habits. Right. But um. But yeah, he's he's he's. Two seconds per shot away from being a better player. Really, just just slowing down. Now, also, come on, look at that. No, right. And in his defense, and the defense of a lot of people that that might be shooting pretty quick once they get down on the shot, especially older people, it's not always easy to stay down on the shot. Take your time. They bend over for something. Their their mission in life is to stand back up. <laughs> so, so yeah. they, like, oh, I wonder if I'm going to be able to get up from this. Yeah. And let me shoot this real quick so that, <laughs> you know, that that yeah. happens. But, um, but yeah. That was a mistake. So, when I tell people to take their time, I kind of hedge it with it's, it's okay if it's, it's tough, tough for you to stay down there. You know, you want to get through it. All right, so yeah, uh, after I wanted to come back to this. I just thought this was a good little cluster break that I intended on doing. That is very rare. That when when I intend to break the cluster, it actually happens. Well, that was his shot. That was him, wasn't it? No, this is me right here. Boom. Oh, right here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Go back to his shot for a second. I want to point something out from an education. All right, hold it right there. All right, let's go. Let's go back a, a second or two. You see how his, let's look at his bridge. So right there, 
All right, you see how there's this space under his bridge? It's not flat on the table. Yeah. All right? It's just kind of levitating. That that makes your shot a lot more difficult. If you're going to have an open bridge, closed bridge, you name it, try to get your palm down on the table. Okay. If it's floating out there, pool is tough enough than to give yourself a, you know, a bouncing bridge. <laughs> so, um, so if you can get your palm down, we've all been guilty of it. I, yeah, you know, I, sometimes we have to shoot over other balls though. Um, but I've lazily had my <laughs> bridge floating before. It's just, you know, but, um, but yeah, it should be down. You want your palm down on the table. So you have a solid bridge. I don't care what you do after that as long as you have control of the queue. But yeah, let's look at your cluster break again. So you're on the and this is a tough break, actually, from a um from a pocket hanger. Yeah. Good shot. I think I missed this one. No, I'm not sure. Oh no, no, no. Split on another good shot. This, yeah, I, I, that looked like it was going to have too much speed. I can't tell if that 12 ball passes to two. I think it's ah, the 12. Because that would have been a lot easier to get on. I guess it does pass your shooting it. So go back. Go back to the previous um, two shots. All right. Yeah, right here. So here, you just want to tap this in. Sub pocket speed, I call it. Just tap it in. You'll stay on that 12 ball. But now you're rolling. Right. Yeah. I'll tell you, my mindset was to get position here, you and know, maybe roll ball. it up a little bit, you know. Okay. Like, so, I want it to end up here. You know what right, I mean? Right, this So let's look at the, the problem with that. Let's go back to, again. So this is, and we're going to call this ball on the, the next to the two, the one next to the red. We're going to call that the 12. Because I can't yeah. tell exactly what it is, but it looks like it might be the 12. All right. Yeah. The reason you want to go this ball, we'll call this the 14. The reason you okay. want to go 14, 12, 11 is now I, I recognize that it's easy to get from the 11 to the 12. Yeah. So your, your plan A is not a bad one. All right. Let's just get that out of the way. Okay. But the reason I'm going... 14, 12, 11 is now I'm going to have to do something a little tricky when I play the 12 is I'm going to actually come around the eight and the, and the four right. to get on the 11 in the side. But the 11, that, right, the 11 puts me on the eight easier than the 12 puts me on the eight. Right. So that makes that's all why, the world. yeah, that's why I want the 11 to be my, my key ball. The other thing is, the 12 goes in one pocket, one. And if we don't get on that pocket, we're done. The 11, I've got four pockets I can put that in. So yep. if I get out of position on that, I can, I'm still out. All right. So that's why wow. I want this, I want to get on this 12 ball. But it requires you to just tap this in super soft. Look how, go back just two seconds. All right. So right before, you, right when you shoot this, all right, freeze it on your backstroke. Right there. Look how long your stroke is. So you've got an eight inch stroke on what should be a soft shot. Even if you're trying to get on the 11, this is, you, you've got, you're, you're really lined up for a power stroke. So yeah. you either have to hit this super soft or take some of that distance out of that stroke so that you can get on that 11 or like in my case, the 12, just, just tossing it out there. You could also yeah. put some draw on that to stay on the 12, but I, I definitely want the 12. Um, and you could also split the difference. <laughs> so you, you kind of get position on both of them, but that cost you the shot because now when you were playing the 12, you had to you had to do something special to try to get to the eleven. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that's that's where that created an issue. Oh, and he just kind of. <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah, you don't want him to hit that eleven, and that's a um. 
that's a shot you could use. But this doesn't look like it worked out too good. No, a little more of. I would have had yeah. a little better shape. Yeah, and you're going to come off, even though this is a big pocket down there. Ooh, yeah. You're in, you're in a I could have situation. made it a little bit. If I had a little more shot skill, I probably could have finessed that. But yeah. I, I would have looked myself been a tough on the eight, eight anyway. Well, yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, come on. Come on, Keith, big daddy. He's better than this, I promise you. This is just, you know. Well, yeah. He um like other than shooting pretty fast, he he gets up, like I said before, he gets up pretty fast. He almost beat that five ball to the pocket. He was, <laughs> he was and he was sure it was going in. So he was he was up and moving. Uh he used telekinesis to stop that one. That's right. Magneto. <laughs> the force upon you. Using the force. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> We laugh, but we all do it. How many times we have we used body English to try to make up slow all down. the magical things? Slow shot? down, slow down. No, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, they hold your hand out, right? Yeah, my favorite is people that tap the table. Oh, yeah, that worked. <laughs> yeah, right. Good shot. Good shot. Where are we at here? We have time for one more, I think. Sure, I'm good. All right, now this one. I'm sorry about the angle. Not the best angle, but this is on a bar box, and this is just a little practice. I, you know, I like to end on a good note, so I okay. thought you'd like to see this ball in hand. Boom, eat that. Was this this? Oh, this is a different day. Okay, different day, different game. This is a, during my league night. I I showed up to practice a little bit, mm -hmm. and I won. Oh, and this, yeah, this is the the one I won three games to one on this one. Sweet, sweet revenge. Because uh, I the last time I played that team, I played the same opponent, mm -hmm. and uh, he he whooped me thoroughly. And this time, I I reversed it. So you're on the stripes here, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but you're, um, and I'm not just talking about pre-shot when you, you're deciding what to shoot, but when you're actually shooting, I think I think you're moving at a different pace than when you were you were playing your friend. Yeah. I go a little fast, if you notice. I like I, I do try to be at the. Uh, how do you say? I want to move at a natural pace. I don't want to move too yeah. slow. Yeah, and one good thing about eight ball is we can get, we can develop a rhythm, you know, and um, it's good to have a rhythm, but you don't, you don't want to, um, you don't want to start unconsciously speeding up which happens to a lot of people, especially if you're running a few balls, they get excited, you know, heart rate is increasing, adrenaline is pumping. And next thing you know, you know, they're, they've run seven and left the eight ball, but that was a, that was a pretty decent run. Pretty good. Yeah. They get them every once in a while. Now they're starting to become a little more common. Yep. So good you know, stuff. So. Good stuff. Well, All right, shit. Seth. I think we had a good, good, uh, good little session today. Yeah. So, uh, um, good luck tomorrow. Thank you, sir. And um, text me. Let me know how you made out. I'll try to All get right. some clips, and when you're ready for me to to show up at the podcast, I'll even shave and shower. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, guys, hit like and subscribe. Follow FX Billiards immediately. The dozen or two up there. Let's get his. Uh, let's get his subscriber account up by five or 10 uh, today by the end of the day. Once you see this, uh, God bless you all pray for me that I make this, uh, th that I play in my absolute best. Uh, God bless you all. And, and uh, is there anything you would like to plug? No, nope, no, nope, we're, we're good. All right, folks, stay safe and God bless. Have a good night. Take care. All right.